John Orum, welcome to Fairwana. Thank you. How did you choose the guitar as your instrument? Well, it, it, it kind of runs in the family, you know. Um, my mom plays guitar, my grandfather played guitar, and my cousins play guitar in different bands and bass. Uh, so, um, really, it kind of like in my DNA or whatever, you know. So, uh, and it started really when my mom, uh, she had an acoustic guitar and show, she showed me a few chords and that's how, how I started, you know, I got interested in starting playing along to albums and things like Elvis albums. How have you developed your personal expression as a guitar player? Well, I, I, you know, um, I think everybody has their own it's just the way you touch the strings and everything. Uh, uh, it's kind of like, um, obviously, I'm influenced by rock guitar players from, I mean, you can hear that in my playing, mainly European guitar players uh, from the 70s, like Richie Blackmore and uh, Gary Moore, Frank Marino and Michael Schenker and people like that. And then you kind of like set. I used to play along to the albums, you know. And um, so, and then you kind of t get a little bit from each guy, and then it becomes your kind of your d develop your own style, you know. And, and then I try to come up with m melodies that are, you know, my own. Otherwise, if it's just kind of like uh, licks, you know, blues runs or whatever. You know, it kind of just sounds like everybody else. So what, what I'm trying to be different is just try to play as melodic as possible. And sometimes I borrow some melody maybe from, from uh, you know, from, from the vocal, uh, you know, maybe from the chorus or something like that. And I you know, put that in the, in the guitar solo, like in, in some places. And a little bit of burning in, in, in between, you know, so. Yeah, and every, like I said, everybody has their own special touch and, and not, uh, so yeah, it's just the way, the hard, the way you hard, how hard you press the strings and how hard you hit, hit the, you know, the strings and, and all that. How is your, your relationship to your instrument? Is, is it like a family, <laughs> part of your family, you know, the guitar? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's just, um, it's just a feel thing, really. I mean, you know, sometimes I just, it just, it, it makes me happy. It's like a be the best, uh, best therapy in the world. You know, I mean, it's like it makes you calm. If you're stressed about something and you maybe have a lot of problems in your life or whatever, then you pick up the guitar and I play for a few hours. And then after that, it's it's all it's all good. It's all you know gone. I feel happy. So uh, it's it's very it's a very important part of my life. You know. So yeah, and it's a lot of fun to play. And you know, when when you hear the the sound coming out of the amplifiers, you know, and and if you have a good sound, the better sound you have, the better you play. You know. So yeah. You were there at the very start when Europe was formed, and you were there when you had your big, f your first big international hit. Uh, how was that time for you? Yeah, it was great. It, w it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun uh, recording uh, the Final Countdown album in Switzerland. Um, and uh, after that, we just uh, we went on a, out on a tour. And suddenly it just, we did a video for, for the final countdown and suddenly it just exploded everywhere, you know. It was like number one in 25 countries or something like that. So I toured and first tour was in Scandinavia and then and we went to Japan. And then we played, I played, uh, we played some gigs in, in uh, Europe and Germany. Remember, then we went out on a long like promotion tour where you go and just do interviews and things like that, you know, for a couple of weeks. And some of, the, some of those TV shows back then in the 80s were like playback shows, you know, and 
not really my thing, you know, it's kind of boring, you know, but it's just something I had to do, you know. Uh, what is your relationship to the final countdown today, now? You mean the album or the no, song? the song, actually. The song, this, yeah, this, this you know, record. I mean, I wasn't crazy about it when, when I first heard it. I mean, when I heard the demo, because uh, I, I just thought it was too much uh, synthesizer, you know, keyboard stuff in there, and it wasn't really... And I, I, w I was more like a hard rocker, you know, I wanted it to be, you know, heavy, heavy guitars and stuff like that. So, but after, you know, after a while, it, it grew on me, got better. And now I actually like the song a lot more than I did back then in the 80s. So I enjoy playing it now, you know, because we are a much better band now and, and, and much better players. So we, we can groove. We get a, a, it's a totally different groove now in the song than it was back then, you know. So, and live, it sounds quite powerful too, you know. It's more, it's more he much heavier live than on the studio album, which has kind of a slick production, you know. Lots, lots of echo and reverb and stuff like that. You were away from Europe for a number of years and you had success as a solo artist. Uh, how has that part of your life been, the, the solo career? Well, I, it's been great, you know. I've done, um, I think it's like nine solo albums now. And um, it's, it's, it's something that I do on the side. Europe is obviously the main priority right now. And it's been for a long time. I mean, since the reunion, 2000, it's like 19 years now. It's going to be 20 years next year. And we're doing our 40th anniversary tour uh, coming up soon, you know, since the first album came out in 1983. So, um, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just talking about the, the, the solo career. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's been yeah, there, there was, there, it was great because uh, uh, there was the, I've never sung any, any lead vocal in the studio before. That was the first time I ever you know, w tried to sing, you know. I wasn't very good, but you know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I, did it, I, I did it more like a, for fun, you know. And I, I thought it was kind of, I think it's important that when, if you do a solo album and, and if you have, you know, a decent voice, I think it's, uh, it gets more personal if you do the vocal yourself or it, instead of having other people come in. I mean, I've done some solo albums with other guest singers like Glenn Hughes and uh, August Ian Nielsen and Leif and, and a bunch of guys, Kelly Keeling, great singer. Uh, and uh, but I think it's very important for me to, <clears throat> to also be singing on, on the solo albums, you know. So, so that's a lot of fun. And then you get to produce it yourself, and you always have the last word, you know. You can be your own boss. You don't have anybody behind the back telling you what to do. Do this, do that, you know. So yeah, it's good. This second round of Europe has almost lasted uh, 20 years now. Yeah. How has this part been? Has it been different than the first part? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been much better, I think, you know. Because when we started, we were, we were very young. Uh, I was like 17, I think, when, when the, the first album came out. And uh, so we have matured a lot. And you know what to do, you know, when you do long tours and stuff like that, you know that, you know how, how to, to be able to uh, uh, get through it, you know, in a, in a good way. Like, in a, you take care of yourself much better, you know, in a healthy way, you know. Because we didn't do, we party a lot in the 80s, you yeah. know. Because that's what, what you were supposed to do, you know, that's what we thought anyways. But, but it also made you very tired, you know. So now it's a whole different different thing, and we try to make it as as uh, enjoyable and, and comfortable as possible. You know, when we are touring and you know, exercise and all that stuff. Hello, Edu, for Fairwell. How is that? Do what? The, now you are here in the Fairwell Islands. How is it to be here? Oh, it's great. I think it's beautiful. It's amazing. It really reminds me a lot. You know where I come from. You know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm from Norway, 
but I moved to Sweden when, when I was two years old, so I'm practically Swedish, but I'm born in Norway, uh, up north in Norway. And this reminds me a lot of, you know, uh, uh, where my family comes from is still lives there, you know, so sometimes I go there and visit and stuff, so, so it reminds me a lot of Norway, which is very nice. So I was out here earlier today walking down by the water over there, and it was just like, and the fresh air and everything. It's a beautiful place, and we had a great time. We were here, oh, I don't know when, I think it's probably, like, uh, uh, yeah, 15 years ago or something, right, right? Yeah, 15 years ago, yeah. And I remember it really well. It's, uh, it was a beautiful place. We were playing down by the water. It was a great festival and great people. And yeah, so it's yeah. a great place. And tonight it's the summer festival in Klaxvik. Tonight? Um, yeah. How, how can you, the show tonight, what can you say about it? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be great. I mean, uh, we've been out touring now for quite some time. And um, so uh, we have a great sound and, and the, the songs sit together really well. and. We're looking forward to meeting all the fans, you know, because it is a long time since we were here, uh, played here. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great fun, you know. We're going to be rocking and rolling. John Norman, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you very much.